good afternoon on what is a bright slightly cloudy but mild day it is Thursday the 3rd of February I'm back in the reading nook with a nice hot cup of tea and a <clears throat> parcel to unbox uh, so let's see what's in here now I've already pulled out that and, oh, and that and even that and the next thing is let's just see oh it is this Sammy Peterson's Planet Apocalypse uh, for fifth edition fantasy um, this is Peterson Games uh, Unleash Hell the ultimate guide to destroying any world Dark Lords always seem to threaten the world. This time that threat becomes real. Your fantasy world actually gets destroyed as it becomes another Planet Apocalypse. A unique new product for 5th edition D&D. The Planet Apocalypse book provides rules and guides to run and turn any fantasy world into a post-apocalyptic landscape where the heroes fight alongside surviving remnants to, to merely stymie the hellish hordes. Uh, this 350 page tome includes new subclasses, new feats, new spells, new magic items, three adventures, a complete guide on what it means to bring the apocalypse to your fantasy world, 15 arch lords whose shadows literally manifest hell, and a best uh, for boasting more than 17 monster stat blocks. Okay, so the post apocalyptic um, theme when it comes to fantasy is nothing new. Um, typically though, when you think of a post-apocalyptic setting, it is uh, usually to a modern setting. So you are, and, and it might be immediate when you're thinking of something like uh, The Morrow Project, or um, Twilight 2000, or further down, the, down, down the, the, in, further into the future, like Gamma World or Mutant Crawl Classics. But fantasy has hit, been, been hit by a couple of, of one, um, uh, apocalypse of its own. So you have, for example, Desolation, which uses the ubiquity system uh, and is a, is a post-apocalyptic fantasy setting where magic went crazy. You have Earthdawn, which is the same kind of thing, and everyone went into the equivalent of Ketwind Cares or Bunkers. And then uh, you also have Midnight from Fantasy Flight Games, which is uh, um, essentially a, where the apocalypse is the fact that a Sauron-type figure one and has taken over the world okay but planet apocalypse so nothing new but let's see what sammy pinson has has to say about the genre um so full color so nice bit of artwork there um, and inside we have the first page of discussion essentially here we have the types of creatures that the player characters will be facing. Maybe they are. Um, they are quite truly hellish. What a guide there to bringing your apocalypse to your world. And of course it's going to, um, in some ways, you know, setting an apocalypse on your world is, 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 uh, is um, well, traumatic doesn't really, doesn't really qualify, but it will certainly change your world. All the advice here on how to do it, so make it, make it horrifying. Um, campaign, it gives a means of campaign birth. Um, and um, then it's got some sort of like, um, what we've got here is sort of like, um, how to bring it to your world and how many sessions it's gonna take. So you might have investigation and discovery campaign begins with Professor Ergis. Ernest, the player's head is now threatened by a lesser fiend lawn. So you've got four to eight sessions of that concept there. And I was looking around for um, earlier concepts, a sort of like, um, let's have a look, see if I can find it, but, uh, of, of, of stage one, because that's stage two. So, built, okay, here we go. Found it, found it. All right, so make it horrifying, uh, make it challenging, building a, a plan of apocalypse campaign, and you've got the setup there. So you've got uh, the first thing is really discussing the campaign structure um, of how to bring it to your game and then the hero strike back um, to, uh, and again how many sessions that will take and presumably sessions he was talking about three to four hour uh, sessions um, as a guide 
uh, and here we get into um, character options and you've got to remember that Sally Peterson is is, is no stranger to letting hell uh, uh, unleashing hell upon your world because you know he is uh, one of the major writers behind the computer game Doom uh, where hell is unleashed uh, first on a Martian colony and then elsewhere um, so yeah nothing new okay so here we've got um, options for the different characters so we've got some various subclasses for the barbarian they're like um, you know at, uh, the experienced hunter spirit carver flesh carver spirit interrogator um, martial archetype the branded so in some ways this gives automatically sort of like you know um, a Mad Max kind of feel um, and it does say, you know, essentially, for the monk, there's the way of the wastelands. Um, and we've got the scrapper for the rogue. Presumably searching the wastelands for um, trinkets and artifacts and um, so on to use, which you can throw at, you know, at the enemy. Uh, and the blood of the lost as a tradition for, essentially, this is for sorcerer. Um, and things like um, so got options for feats, apocalyptic mutation like claws or horns, banishing strike, so you can be changed by the effect of the apocalypse. But, uh, or even fiend mark or become a hellsmith. Then we've got discussion of magic. Um, long list of spells there, I'm not going to go through them all because it, because uh, you know, um, it's, uh, don't want to be sat out here reading spell lists to the sound of a ice cream van. <sighs> spell descriptions. So, uh, halo of spines or purified grounds. to Planet Apocalypse Adventures. And scaling adventures, adapting adventures and um, and then we've got actually so essentially um, that's the background that's the information for running and adapting campaigns to an apocalyptic setting for your Dungeons and Dragons games. Here, we get onto the adventures. Um, I know there's best story to come as well. So you've got uh, Among the Damned, uh, you've got Adventure Summary. So, multiple adventures in here, um, accompanied by, really, that's actually really nice, a cartography, I really like that, so just show you that. Again, I really like that style of cartography, it's nice and clear. Um, um, but, uh, so that's, you know, you've got some really quite odd monster creations here. Somebody completely warped, as you can see, or whatever they were in life. Um, as you can still tell by the, by the heels they were wearing. And then, let's see, we've got more adventures in here, I'm sure. So, uh, to, um, to slay uh, Leviathan. Um, and there is a sense of, um, you know, there's the scale of it, essentially looking at this Leviathan and having to track it down and uh, take it on bodily. more excellent cartography. Cathedral investigation on this part two. So um, yeah you've got th three so three adventures in here 
um, not, uh, all of which you know you can add to your post-apocalyptic campaign and you actually as I say as you invent you do venture into the Leviathan's interior and this is not like showing this to you to think of something like uh, Genial Jack from Lost Pages, um, Vast Grim, which is a science fiction version of um, uh, um, Mort Borge, uh, where you have you're going into the inside of great cre creatures themselves, uh, great beasts, um, and they become the dungeon. Um, so there's the Gate of Bone. That's the third adventure. The only thing I didn't, I didn't show you is what you've got. Um, here I'll show you is um, Demonology of the Apocalypse on the inside back, on the inside front cover. See what the fantastic art button there, a little bit dark, um, but it, you get a sense of just how ghastly they are and uh, huge, you know, there's a lot of invention there in, in creating these creatures. Um, that, uh, And I'm sure essentially one, these, these, there's, there's something quite, you know, I mean, hellish chaotic about that you could adapt them to um, a setting, um, you know, even a system of your choice. Uh, and then we go on to World Torn, torn Asunder. Um, and basically we've got an image of like the world basically being invaded by the fiendish hordes. But, uh, just horrid things going on oh my gosh, it's fantastic the fantastic artwork you know just whatever just the peril upon upon her face um, as she's pulled in or he uh, let me get onto the uh, fiendish legions and there's gonna be a, gonna be a list of the legions of hell um, images of them it's a fairly thick study book, it's like 360 pages. Um, and so I said, to, uh, all the kind of ways, fantastic artwork. And then we get onto the actual best book here. So some great action scenes in the artwork. Oh, that's fantastic. That's, that's I really like that. Just great love, unholy beast just tearing through uh, the, the, the uh, you know, village. Or town the streets, um, knowing that you know the, the poor. Um, there we go. That's a crawling horde. There we go. That's a truly horrible thing. So yeah, absolutely fantastic artwork in here. Um, and you could of course um, add this, combine this with the Book of Fiends from um, Green Ronin. Um, the Book of Fiends is an earlier. Um, series of books, collects a series of, of, of earlier um, books upon demons and devils and that sort of thing uh, which was done for um, third edition but, um, and if you so if you were looking for more um, you know, perhaps traditionally inspired uh, takes upon demons and devils and uh, their spawn then you would um, um, possibly look there and then we've got actually a um, a Cositus, Cositus, a corrupted roper. And that's a nice adaptation of a creature already existing, just really turning uh, the, you know, the danger up on, on, on encountering such a beast. Uh, and he's got more of these. You've got, you know, that, 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 that's a coin, co just corrupted um, at, uh, um, roper. Just over the page, um, we have a coin, just corrupted spirit naga. So you can see that essentially they've taken some of the, monsters, the traditional sort of monsters of Dungeons and Dragons and really infused them with uh, an hellish um, at, uh, sense. So yes, unless you have a, a Gehenna, a corrupted stone giant. Uh, or a, a leaf corrupted black pudding. Yeah, the Black River, that's a really nice touch again. Um, yeah, that's really fantastic. So yeah, quite a long um, section, the best three of um, creatures really um, changed by their exposure to hell, such as Tartarus Corrupted Giant Scorpion. Uh, 
um, at, uh, and then damn swarm skills, um, swarms, fiends of under hell. Uh, yeah, and they say we've got a preening, um, preening gorillas. That's that thing I uh, showed you earlier. Um, yeah, in all its horrid glory. Yeah, you don't want to see uh, you sort of, some of these. You, should, you, you, you imagine the reaction from the players. Oh, this has got a leering gorilla. So here's the actual in 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 in, in, in full view. Um, some of these really well the players are going to really um, react to seeing these. These are quite horrid creatures, and there are lots of them. And we've got basically down to sort of things like the Bellatrix, the fourth uh, circle uh, fiend, which I won't sh uh, which I'll, uh, show you briefly. But, uh, so lots and lots of just so it's all. I mean, at some levels, this is all, this is a basically all of its um, all its very own. Um, you're never going to use all of these monsters. Um, and much to the, not much to the, um, um, oh god, much to the, 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 you know, the relief of your players. Just so much good artwork in this, um, and just proof again. The, the, the artwork doesn't always have to be full colour to be really kind of effective. That's just that's fantastic. I'll show you that again. But, uh, um, so yeah, that's quite a long section of monsters and fiends and uh, things um, all the way down essentially what we've got at the end uh, encounter tables um, and generally next so yeah so there yeah that is Planet Apocalypse so if you really want to set the apple cart of your world and uh, turn it on its head then unleash the forces of hell on your world with Planet Apocalypse um, I would suggest essentially, you know, having your world playing through it as per normal, in fact, for a little while, you know, create a world you want to play in for a bit and then upset the apple cart, rather than perhaps doing it, you know, just doing a change on something which you've put a lot of effort into, perhaps you don't want to make too much of a change to it. Um, obviously it's your world, you do what you will, but here's how, what, how, what a book you know, which will guide you through the process, uh, provide you with the, 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 the fiends um you know and devils and so on that you can thrust at your players uh and slurries you can run them through um yeah quite ghastly but i think it's a great book for, for, for essentially uh, um, taking your campaign world in a wholly hellish direction so yeah thank you very much for watching another unboxing in the nook if you've enjoyed this please do click on the like button down below and of course uh, if you've got any comments or feedback, um, I appreciate uh, you taking the time to do so. And lastly, if you want to be alerted to yet more unboxings in the look, where you'll see me out here with a book or a game, um, which I'll unbox from uh, a parcel like that, and talk about I talk about to the best extent of my knowledge for roughly 10 minutes or so, then please do hit that subscribe button again. Um, okay, all of course accompanied by a nice hot cup of tea. Anyway, thanks again for watching another unboxing in the look. If you've enjoyed this, please, um, as I say, thank you very much, and I'll be back again soon with another one. Bye for now.